Hi everybody, Andrea Tarowski here with Dental Old Tutoring. Let's go over some community and special needs mock exam questions. You might be wondering why those two topics together. Well, inside the VIP Board Exam Prep Academy package, we go through different topics per week. And this week we just happen to be in week 10, so module 10. I provide 12 weeks, 12 modules of board exam prep study practice. So if you're the type of student where you, you don't know when to start, how to do it, how to start preparing, preparing for the board exam, I help you over 12 modules that could be done over 12 weeks. Even if you have less time to take the board exam and you have maybe a month left, that's it, maybe not three months, then you can do, let's say, five modules per week. You can go through everything. It is learn at your own pace and everything is online as soon as you sign up and you have full support by me. So we have a members only Facebook group where I'm there every day. I post different lecture videos, mock exam practice videos. There's PowerPoints. You guys have everything. So it's full studying. So let me just give you guys a sneak peek inside one of our mock exam practice classes where we go over community and special needs. So I'm just going to share my screen right now for you. Can everybody see this okay? So let's go through a couple questions together and let me know if there's any questions. This is all inside the VIP Board Exam Prep Academy. Let's go through the first one here, okay? So um, congrats, you have a new job as a public health dental professional. You are formulating a case study that is asking what toothpaste brand patients prefer, Colgate or Crest. What are you formulating? So feel free to pause the video if you need a second to think and you don't want to hear me talking. So what are you formulating, you guys? Um, here, let me move this up a bit so you can see all of the questions. There we go. So are all of the answers. When you're a public health dental hygienist or dental assistant, you have to go through case studies. And in this case, you're, you're doing the research to see what do patients prefer, Colgate or, or Crest. So the first step, you're formulating something. What is it? Go into your community module if you're inside the VIP Board Exam Prep Academy course. Go inside your community module, which just happens to be module 10 or module 9. I think it's module 10. And go through the PowerPoint that I have prepared for you. That PowerPoint is meant to take the place of your textbook, meaning you don't have to read your entire textbook again. You don't have to read the community chapter again. You can just go through the PowerPoint that I've created for you on community if you're having trouble answering this question. So I'm going to move on and give you guys the answer here. So hypothesis. You have to formulate a question first. Now, a lot of people ask me, well, Andrea, why isn't it null hypothesis? Um, hy hy hypothesis? Why isn't it null hypothesis? So it's just hypothesis, which means formulating a question, because a null hypothesis means you already kind of have a negative perception, a negative statement attached to it. So you already think patients are going to prefer Colgate. So you already kind of have this negative question. You kind of think you know the answer. But hypothesis just means the question. And I've marked it down here for you too to know, well, Andrea, why wouldn't the answer be, be research proposal? Well, because that actually means the direct definition is the type of search used to obtain the info. We're not asking about how you get the info. We're just asking what are you formulating? Make sense, you guys? Community is tricky, so don't feel bad if you're very confused. That's why the community module inside the Board Exam Prep Academy really helps, because I go through the community lecture class first, where I explain it to you, and then there's mock exam questions after. Let's go through one more community question, and then we'll do some um, special needs. So while doing your research, actually, sorry, guys, this is too similar to the last one. So let's do... Ah, this one. You prefer Colgate toothpaste, but it looks like 60% of the population prefers Crest. Do you publish these results? Feel free to pause the video if you're not sure. So yes, you guys, you always publish the results. This is a common misconception of, well, you don't have to if you don't want to. Companies that are unethical will only publish results that they favor, but you're not supposed to. As a public health dental professional, you have to always publish the results whether you like them or not, okay? Kind of an easier one, but it's good to know. So let's just skip down to some special needs for you here. Let's do this one. 
you are the main dental assistant here. Let me move my video a bit for you. You are the main dental assistant of the practice. What role does the dental assistant have with the medically and physically compromised patient? Read through all the answers. Feel free to pause the video if you need some additional time. So what role does the dental assistant play? The dental assistant plays the role in aiding the dentist in providing treatment, serving as a source of dental, um, serving as a source of information to the patient and family and making the patient more comfortable. It shouldn't really say just dental assistant. It should say dental professional because this is basically anybody in the dental office other than the dentist because in this case, um, we're talking about aiding the dentist. But that's the best answer. Okay. So a is not correct because we didn't mention anything about the patient needing dentures. So why would that be the right answer? B is not correct because in a medically and physically compromised patient, what does that have to do with the front desk and oral cancer screening? We just mean in general. So they aid, in, they aid the dentist in providing treatment, serving as a source of information to the patient and family to rely what's happening in that appointment if the patient's family doesn't come in or they came with their brother that didn't come in or whoever, and then making the patient more comfortable. It also has nothing to do with assisting the hygienist, polishing and, pass and passing instruments, because what does that have to do with a medically compromised patient, right? I know, tricky. So you guys, this is just a little sneak peek inside the mock exam practice that I have for my dental assisting and dental hygiene students. So there's a separate course for dental assisting the VIP board exam prep package if you're taking the dental assisting, the dental hygiene board exam, and then a separate one for dental assisting if you're taking the dental assisting board exam. So have a look at dentalel.com and scroll down to the VIP packages. That's the best package you get for board exam prep. I've been doing this since 2005. I love my job, you guys. The VIP package is updated every single year, sometimes even two or three times a year, depending on what needs to be updated to follow the blueprint you need for that board exam. Okay, you guys, so let me help you guys. I am here to help you. I still maintain a 99.7 success rate helping students pass as of 2023. So it does change a little bit per year. The lowest I've had is 99.4% success rate of helping students pass. So that's pretty darn good. It's always 99 plus. I know I can help you guys because it's not just about you doing everything on your own. I offer full support. We have a members only Facebook group where I am there every day answering and helping. There's always mock exam practice to go over, but it's also a learn at your own pace course. So you can log in anytime, study any module you want, any lecture video, any mock exam practice video, or you can follow along per weeks with me that I talk about inside the Facebook group. So it's perfect. You get the best of both worlds. So let me help you guys, okay? Email me anytime if you have questions you will see my contact information on the website and thank you guys for watching click like if you like this video make sure to subscribe as well because there are new videos every Mondays and Thursdays can't go wrong thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next one